Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to be engraving and cutting colored acrylic. So let's get to it. In today's video, we're going to be using our Montport 40 watt CO2 laser engraver to do all of this. And we're going to be using colored acrylic to do our project today. In the past, we've done clear acrylic with different projects, but today we're going to try our hands at colored acrylic, which is obviously not clear. It's opaque and it may have different settings and all of that. So we're going to do a quick project. All right, so we got this pack of colored acrylic. You can see there's a bunch of different colors here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a design that we can use to make a cool little keychain with Daisy Space on it. So we're going to go ahead and make a design that we can cut and engrave this material. Okay, so we're here in Lightburn and I'm going to go ahead and import a little cartoon image of Daisy that we want to use. And we're gonna go ahead and trace this real quick. You can see that looks pretty good. Hit okay. And now we have a nice tracing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a layer here and shrink this down. And I think two inches or so for a keychain. And I'll go ahead and just make sure this is locked so we don't skew it and hit two, enter, and you can see it shrunken down in the height as well. So now that we have this, what I actually wanna do is ungroup everything. Right now you can see I can't select the outer edge here without selecting everything, but if I ungroup it, now when I select on the outer edge, let me change this to a line so you can see that, I can select just the outer edge by hitting that because what I wanna do is I wanna use this outline to offset it or put a additional line on the outside of it to kind of give it some chunkiness to this uh, keychain because we have to be able to fit a little key ring in there as well. So we'll call that good and we'll hit okay. Well, before I mess anything up, I'm gonna go ahead and regroup everything that was there before. So all this I want grouped again. And then I wanna put this on a different layer because this is gonna be my cut edge. So I'm gonna put that on this blue layer here. And we need to make a way that we can put a keychain ring on it. So I think I'll just go ahead and draw a circle. And I kinda of want it to just hang in like that. And then I'll draw another circle. And then I'm gonna select both of these circles so I can get it centered. I want to take this outer circle and this, and I want to weld those together just like that. And I think that is perfect. So now it's just about getting the settings right for engraving this out. We actually want this to be a fill and we're on our CO2 laser. I'm going to make sure that we're just doing a bi-directional fill here and not a cross hatch. That looks good. In our inner roll. I think I'll do 0.05. I think what I'm going to use is some previous settings that I have with this colored acrylic and assign that to the layer. So now when I go to the cuts and layers, my settings are here. Looks like we're going to be going 5,000 millimeters per meter and 45% power, 0 0.05 interval, and one pass count. So that's all good. And now with our line, because we're going to be cutting this out, assign that. And the settings here for this line, we're gonna be going 800 millimeters per, I said meter before, minute. 800 millimeters per minute, 70% power with three passes. And it gives us a nice clean cut all the way through. And I think we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and remove this protective layer here on the top. It would be able to cut through this, but our engraving would probably be messed up. Okay, to the laser. Make sure you're well ventilated. All right, very nice. Super Clean sent us some products here. We're gonna use this to get our bed clean. Now it's super clean. We'll have their products linked in the description. What I love about using lasers to cut out acrylic is the smooth edge you get, it's really nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this under some water. So I like to rinse it off before putting on some isopropyl alcohol just to get off like the little remnants stuff. I don't want to scratch the top at all. Pretty good results, huh? Looks like she has an ear pierced. So this was 
kind of a fun experiment trying out colored acrylic, which we haven't before. Cutting this out on the CO2 laser was really simple, a really not much adjustment compared to clear acrylic on the CO2 laser. But we did find out that cutting this on any other type of laser, like a diode laser, is really not doable based off of wavelength differences with colored acrylic. What we did realize after was this is kind of an inverted image of the dog as the engraved piece is lighter than the unengraved piece. So we went ahead and inverted that and made another one that's just a little bit smaller that has kind of the, the opposite effect here. So testing out the material, bound to find these things. We weren't sure if it was gonna look darker by being engraved or lighter, but um, it obviously looks a lot lighter. What we did find out is that this acrylic cuts pretty deep compared to clear acrylic. So we really had to turn down the power on the laser quite a bit to get some really you know light results on here. But overall, really good results on this. Uh, I think it turned out really cool. And if you want a Momport 40 watt CO2 laser engraver, what code can you use to save some money? Anonymous 10 to get 10% off any machine you order on the Montport website. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.